Hey y'all, it's Nicole with Living Well Realty. Today I am back out in Prosper in the Montclair to check on the custom home build that I am standing in front of. So, um, they have done so much work on this and we are rapidly approaching the completion date. So, I'm gonna flip this around and we're gonna go see everything that they've completed since the last time I was here. All right, so they have painted the exterior and all the roof tiles are done. They've got gutters installed. Um, they're supposed to be getting ready to do um, the irrigation for the landscaping and then the driveway, which it's supposed to be sometime this week, but as you can tell, it's cloudy. I think we're expecting a little bit of rain, so they're probably watching the forecast and holding off until we got better weather. Okay, so this is the Carlisle plan that my clients started with. And this has just over 3,500 square feet. They installed the floors, beautiful. So just over 3,500 square feet. It's a four bed, three bath, three car garage. It has formal dining. There's um, a room immediately off to the right here that's a flex space, but my clients are using it as a media room. So they had it painted the dark color. We got trim work up, so you can see the baseboards. And then of course the cabinetry that's over here, they're gonna have a microwave and a little refrigerator, sink. All of that's in, it looks really good. Awesome, these floors are beautiful. Okay, so this is a split bedroom floor plan. You've got the master just off the kitchen. It's a beautiful, huge open kitchen and living. And then all of the secondary bedrooms are on the um, this side of the house. So we'll go down this first hallway. It looks so pretty. So the walls are painted. So you can tell like all the trim's done. Tile work was in last time we were here. Mirrors are up. That's awesome. So pretty. So this bathroom shares uh, with these two rooms. So here's the first of three secondary bedrooms. Really nice, large room. Love these custom windows. These are so beautiful. Still waiting on some hardware to go in the doors, but we got lights. Great walk-in closet. Built-in shelves. And then this bedroom's a little bit bigger. They did crown molding up around the top as well as the baseboards. There's another walk-in closet with built-in shelving. It's a really good size closet. And then this bedroom has direct access into the bathroom. But um, I'm just gonna go in there and show you guys a close-up of the tile work. And then my clients chose the gold fixtures. They're a little dusty at this point in time, but that'll get clean and it'll look really great once they're done. So there's the entrance into that bedroom. Awesome, okay, now let's go back out and let's get a closer look at um, the kitchen real quick because, oh, I just love this backsplash and these pendant lights, which I know they were here last time, but so pretty, so pretty. This backsplash too has a little bit of a, of a, of a I don't know, green, like a seafoam color maybe, or maybe it's just taking on a different hue. It's so beautiful. Yeah. So of course your dishwasher and your sink are in the island. And then you have a drop in range and then the oven will go in that huge space, sorry over here and then the microwave and then that's the refrigerator so much space in here and then the pantry big walk-in pantry before we go check out the master I'm gonna take you over to see the last of the secondary bedrooms and then there's an office which we're looking at it's straight ahead which could actually be a fourth bedroom or fifth bedroom if you wanted it to be looks really good. My clients are going to use this as an office, so they've 
Going a little extra and done this trim work on the wall, the paneling, looks so good. And the closet, they chose to put shelving in instead of rods, but if they ever sell or whatever, this could easily be a fifth bedroom and that could be converted. Okay, and then the final secondary bedroom is back here. Love this dark color. And then you have a pop-up ceiling. They chose crown, mat, crown molding to go through all of it. Looks really, really good. And this doesn't have no handles, but this is, um, it's a straight across closet, but they brought it from one side all the way to the other so they maximize the space for extra storage. And then the last of the bathrooms, Love this one. This is a, they chose to do a walk-in shower. That is really, really beautiful. Looks really good. And then this one only has a, a single sink. Lots of counter space. When you only have one sink, that does open up the counters. All right, now let's go check out the master. This is, um, this bathroom is also gonna act as their pool bath, so there's another entrance from the patio in here on this side. And of course, you've got your sliders. They open up, it's a double slider, so they open up left and right. We'll go look at that after. So the master, a really pretty art niche right here. And then they carried the wood flooring out in here. Love those floor to ceiling windows. And then again, a pop-up ceiling, crown molding. Such a beautiful, beautiful space. The master bath is installed. Lots of room around the tub. That is awesome. And then a massive shower. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm a little jealous. This is awesome. Wow. Oh, that looks so good. So the, the flooring, you see the tile on the floor matches that little decorative strip in the wall. That's gorgeous. And this is what's called a seamless shower, guys. Just FYI, if you ever... Um, most most bathrooms they have some kind of a like a thick piece of metal around for the frame of the shower but that is what frameless looks like it's very clean lots of space in here this is a gorgeous master bathroom all right and then tucked back over here you've got the water closet and then that's a linen closet and then the master closet which they did a lot of extras in here. This is really beautiful. So they have obviously built-in um, dresser, lots of hanging, and then right behind me, that's gonna be a mirror. Really pretty, really pretty. All right. And now we're gonna go check out the laundry room, the garages, and then we'll look at the back patio. So we have two entrances coming in from the garage, right? This is split three car. So this one here is a two car garage. And I got some built-in shelving over there. Lots of paint. Beautiful cedar garage doors. Those are painted dark, dark gray on the exterior. Or black. One for two colors. And then the single car garage is over here. That's also where the electrical panel and the tankless water heater are. And then of course you've got a huge mud bench, big mud bench with your bead board in the back. This is storage underneath and above, That's super handy. And this is the mecca of all laundry rooms. Beautiful, so much storage space. Um, room for a refrigerator or stand-up freezer. More counter space and storage back here. Oh, such a great place. There is nothing like having the, in a cramped space and folding clothes, y'all. So I appreciate that large open space for our laundry. <laughs> okay, now the backyard. This is amazing. This patio is also just Jaw dropping, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, so much space here. I feel like I'm at a resort right now, this is awesome. 
Um, and then they've got a pool that's, they are pumping out the water. That's that noise right now. But um, yeah, that looks beautiful. This is such a beautiful home. Love it. So if you guys are looking to build a custom home, they still have some lots available here in the Montclair. Okay guys, that wraps up the tour. They've done so much work. They've got just a little bit more to do and within the next few weeks, they're gonna be wrapped up and we are gonna have our final walk and my awesome clients will get to move in. So excited for them. If you guys are looking to build um, in the Prosper Salina area, y'all give me a call, text, email, or you can schedule a Zoom appointment via the link below. Until next time, you guys take care and God bless. Bye.